next we have an important voice again from Australia, um, Tim Buckley from the Institute for Energy, Economics and Financial Analysis, AIFA. He will speak on the economic impact of the Adani Goda coal power plant. Um, he's director, Australia and South Asia. Tim has um, agreed to cut down his presentation. Um, he was supposed to get seven minutes, but now he says he'll do it in three. Thank you for that to Tim in advance. Thank you. Good evening from Sydney to all of you. Um, I will just keep it very brief. Uh, I'm happy to take any questions offline, but maybe if I just make two key points to expand on the conversation that we've had this afternoon. Firstly, one point which uh, Paranjoy in describing the huge growth of the Adani Group over the last five or 10 years, downplayed or did not mention one area of very significant diversification, and that is Adani is now the largest renewable energy company in India. And I mention that because it should actually play a key role in your campaign strategy in that the Adani Group is very, very clearly acknowledging that renewable energy is the low cost source of supply of energy in India, as we saw in some of the earlier presentations, and that it will only get cheaper with every year that goes by. And in fact, Katam Adani um, posted a very interesting op-ed on his LinkedIn profile early this year saying that he thinks the cost of solar will drop 99% in the next four decades. So it is absolutely inevitable that renewable energy will become the energy source of the world in the future and that in the short term, thermal power will play a balancing role. But it's a very, very important strategic shift by the company and it's not just words. Adani has actually invested many billions of dollars in renewables over the last uh, four or five years and has set the target to be the world's largest solar player by 2025. Now, a very aspirational goal, but the company is putting the resources in to support that point. So again, uh, and maybe the flip side of that, we saw Adani's financial officer only this last week emphasized that coal will play a diminishing role in the Adani group going forward. And uh, they mentioned they probably would not be bidding on the coal block auctions that the Indian government has underway at the moment. And we just heard the news today that the Indian government's delayed that auction till October. And I would suggest that's because of a lack of investor interest. So that's the first point. Adani is pivoting to renewables. And so whilst the campaign is no to Adani, maybe it needs to be no to coal and let them pivot, let them supply really cheap, low cost, sustainable energy to Bangladesh. And that would be a win for Adani and a win for the people of Bangladesh. So the second point I would make is about the go to power plant. And it, the Goda power plant is built on subsidies. The Carmichael coal mine and the Goda power plant are built on subsidies. So you should reference that in talking about this project because Katamadani probably would not, well, there is no chance the project would be going ahead if it wasn't for outsourcing all of the financial risk to the poor people of Bangladesh through a 25 year power purchase agreement which is on a cost plus, plus, plus basis, meaning all of the risk is borne by the people of Bangladesh. Secondly, Qatar Madani has been awarded a special economic zone around the Goda power plant. Now, that's a rather unique offer by the Indian government to mean they pay no taxes, they pay no coal cess, they pay no import duties, they pay no GST. So that in its own right is a billion dollar subsidy by the people of India to the go to power plant. And the third subsidy I would mention is the fact that the power plant finance is being provided entirely 
by the Power Finance Corporation of India and the REC, the Rural Electrification Corp. So $1.5 billion US of loans are being provided by the Indian government to the go to power plant. So 100% of the debt financing. So that is a huge capital subsidy at a time when the Adani group cannot raise money from private banks, as Holly mentioned earlier, they have to actually lean on a massive capital subsidy from the people of India. They're gonna pay no corporate tax and the poor people of Bangladesh underwrite all of the risk. So it's been totally de-risked through subsidies and outsourcing of risk to the poor and Gautam Adani is left with all the profits and none of the risk. So I would conclude by saying the go to power plant is heavily subsidized. It's old technology and it's no longer relevant when Adani should actually be providing low cost, sustainable renewable energy to the poor of Bangladesh. That is a far better strategy. Thank you. Tim Buckley ne bataya ki aap logon ko ek cheez par dhyan dena chahiye khas kar ke Bharat mein aur Bangladesh mein ki uh, mic a little higher mic yeah abhi sunai de raha hai behtar ha to unhone kaha ki Gautam Adani uh, is samay uh, jo urja um, wo sirf koyle wale urja par abhi zor nahi de rahe balki koyle wali urja se jo ki simit uh, urja ka hai, kehlata hai usse akshay urga, urja ki taraf jaise ki solar jaise tharm uh, jo uh, jo suraj se urja li jati hai us tarah ki urja ki taraf wo apna uh, ye mod rahe hain jo ki paryavaran ke liye zyada acha mana jata hai aur wo apne aap ko is mamle mein sabse badi company banana chahte hain is samay bharat mein to wo hai hi sabse badi company uh, akshay urja ki और वो चाहते हैं कि दुनिया की सबसे बड़ी कंपनी वो बने और उन्होंने ये भी लिखा कि इस तरह की ऊर्जा का दाम जो है वो बहुत तेजी से गिरने वाला है आने वाले दशक में आ, सूरज से लेने वाली जो ऊर्जा है उसका निन्यानवे प्रतिशत दाम जो है घट जाएगा तो हम ये क्यों नहीं मांग करते कि आ, ये सिर्फ अडानी को भगाने की बात नहीं अडानी जो है वो आ, हम एक तरह से कोयले को भगाने की बात कहें और अडानी से कहें कि आप कोयले के बजाय जो अक्षय ऊर्जा है या सूरज से जो ऊर्जा होती है उसे सस्ते में आप बांग्लादेश को दें ये टिम बकली की अपनी राय थी जिसको उन्होंने रखा उन्होंने ये भी कहा कि तीन पॉइंट तीन ऐसी चीजें हैं जिससे एक तरह एक तरह से अडानी को सब्सिडी मिल रही है हमने हॉली से सुना कि कैसे दुनिया भर के बैंकों से अडानी को एक पाई भी नहीं मिल सकता है तो अडानी को इस पूरे प्रोजेक्ट से सारे चलाने के लिए पैसे कहाँ से मिल रहे हैं उसे बांग्लादेश भारत और बांग्लादेश और भारत की जनता से मिल रहे हैं कैसे पहला तो ये कि इस पूरे प्रोजेक्ट का जो वित्तीय जोखिम है वो सारा जोखिम जो है वो सारा खतरा जो है वो बांग्लादेश की पब्लिक उठा रही है बांग्लादेश के लोग उठा रहे हैं उस एग्रीमेंट के तहत दूसरा इसीलिए अडानी को इस, इसने जरा भी खतरा नहीं उठाना है सारा खतरा जो है वो बांग्लादेश की जनता के कंधों पे दे दिया दूसरा ये कि क्योंकि भारत ने इसे स्पेशल इकोनॉमिक जोन बना दिया है एसीज बना दिया है गोड्डा वाले इलाके में इसका मतलब उनको वहां टैक्स नहीं भरना पड़ेगा कोई सेस नहीं भरनी पड़ेगी कोई जीएसटी नहीं भरना पड़ेगा कोई इंपोर्ट ड्यूटी नहीं भरनी पड़ेगी कुछ नहीं भरना पड़ेगा तो इस मामले में हम जो भारत की जनता है वो हम अडानी का सारा सब कुछ भर रहे हैं इसका मतलब उनके टैक्स मैंने उनका टैक्स वो हमें नहीं दे रहे यानी हमें लूट रहे हैं वो तीसरी चीज ये कि अरबों में जो लोन्स है क्योंकि कोई बैंक नहीं दे रहा उनको तो लोन कौन दे रहा है कर्ज कौन दे रहा है अडानी को भारत की सरकार दे रही है और भारत की सरकार कहाँ से लेके दे रही है उसके अपने पैसे बाप के पैसे तो है नहीं माँ के पैसे तो है नहीं उसके पैसे हमारे आपके पैसे भारत की जनता के पैसे जिसे वो दे रही है अडानी को इन तीनों पॉइंट्स को टिम बकली ने रखा कि आप लोगों को आंदोलन में इस पर जोर देना चाहिए